Hello everyone. The time from diagnosis to treatment can be a time filled with a lot of questions and uncertainty. This video will show you what the typical consultation, preparation and treatment process is like. But know that your experience may be slightly different as each patient receives a custom and unique treatment plan. Your team will also explain each step as you go. Please let any of your radiation treatment team members know if you have any more questions. When you are first referred for radiation therapy consultation, you will meet with a radiation oncologist to review your diagnosis, your health, and your treatment goals, and then to determine together what the best treatment option is for you. At your consultation appointment, the radiation oncologist will discuss why radiation is being offered, the total number of treatment sessions required, and the possible short and long-term side effects. Once your treatment goal and plan have been identified, the first step in planning your custom radiation treatment is to have a CT simulation. When you arrive for your CT simulation and radiation treatments, you will be greeted by clerical staff who will confirm your name and date of birth with your Manitoba Health Card and then check you into the department to notify the radiation therapist of your arrival. Depending on the area being treated, you may be asked to change into a hospital gown or hospital pants. You will be shown where to change and where to wait for your appointment. Additionally, on your first day in the department, the staff, with your permission, will take your photo and upload it to your radiation therapy treatment chart. This will allow for treatment staff to confirm your identity for each treatment. You will see a team of radiation therapists for CT simulation and each radiation treatment session. The therapist will guide you through your treatments and are available to answer any questions you may have throughout the process. Please note that companions are permitted during parts of the procedure, but will be asked to step out during the delivery of radiation. CT simulation uses a CT scanner to obtain images to be used for radiation treatment planning. The CT images allow the radiation oncologist to locate the tumor in surrounding areas that will require treatment. Radiation therapists will perform your CT simulation and this process will take approximately 30 minutes. You may be asked to change into a hospital gown or pants and to remove metal objects such as a belt, jewelry, dentures and eyeglasses which may interfere with image results. You may also receive special instructions for your CT simulation such as filling your bladder, holding your breath, drinking oral contrast, or receiving IV contrast. Your radiation therapy team will discuss these instructions with you. During the CT simulation, the position you will need to be in during radiation therapy treatments will be determined, and a CT scan of you in this position will be taken. This position will need to be comfortable while allowing for it to be reproduced for each treatment. Depending on the area being treated, an immobilization aid may be used to help you remain still in the required position for each of your treatment sessions. These immobilization aids can include a mask, the use of a beanbag-like cushion, or rigid boards to maintain the position. For example, if you need radiation therapy to the head or neck area, a special mesh mask may be made. This mask will help you stay still during treatment and will be worn for each treatment. Once the CT scan is taken, marks known as reference marks will be drawn on your skin or your mask and used to help the treatment radiation therapist position you for each of your treatments. These marks can be made with permanent markers or tattoo ink. The tattoo marks are the size of a freckle. Sometimes you'll need multiple marks or tattoos. The radiation therapy team uses a combination of laser lights and these marks on your body to ensure that your body is precisely aligned and positioned for each of the treatment sessions you will have. After your CT simulation, you are free to go home. The images and information are transferred to the treatment planning system so the radiation therapy team can complete the second step of the preparation process, which is to design your custom treatment plan. Designing your treatment plan requires detail and can take several days to complete. The plan design team includes radiation therapists, medical physicists, and your radiation oncologist. 
The plan design process includes many calculations to ensure your plan is appropriate and ready for treatment. Treatments usually start about two to three weeks after your planning session. For your first treatment appointment, the treatment radiation therapist will show you the console area, the treatment room, and the equipment and explain to you what will be happening. Depending on your treatment, your appointment may take between 10 to 15 minutes. There are some treatments that do take longer. During the treatment setup and treatment, you will be asked to lay still. The treatment machine will move and rotate around you. It may come close, but will not touch you. When the machine is on, you will hear a humming noise. You will not feel anything during the treatment. Most of the time in the treatment room is spent explaining the procedure, placing you in your treatment position, and taking x-ray images to ensure you are in the right treatment position. The time the machine is delivering treatment is the shortest part of your appointment. For each treatment session, you will be set up in the same position you were at at the time of your CT simulation. Once you are lying on the treatment table, you will be able to feel the table move. It rises three to four feet off the ground as it goes closer to the machine. The markings on your body or on your immobilization device will be used to recreate your treatment position. This may require a treatment radiation therapist to move and adjust your position. We ask that you allow the radiation therapist to do the movement and to try and not to readjust yourself. Once your tattoos and or markings are lined up to the lasers within the treatment room, you will feel the table move again. This is your starting position for treatment. The treatment radiation therapist will then leave the room to begin your treatment. Although you will be alone in the treatment room, the radiation therapist will be just outside the treatment room in the console area and will be watching you on a camera. There is also an intercom system that allows you to speak with the therapist while you are in the room. Additionally, if your treatment technique requires instructions, you will hear the radiation therapist speak to you over the intercom before the treatment begins. Prior to turning on the treatment beam, x-ray images will be taken. These images allow radiation therapists to match the position of your bones and other organs to the x-rays in the positions taken during your CT. Although the radiation therapists have positioned you based on your markings and the lasers, they will now further adjust your position based on the images. This is very important as it is this position that your treatment plan was created for, and the goal of each treatment is to recreate the same position. Once the imaging positioning match is completed, you will likely feel the table move. Do not be alarmed by this movement as this is the treatment therapist moving the table from outside the room based on how your positioning matches. These movements are millimeters and centimeters at most. If therapists need to change your position, they will come back into the room and readjust your position. The treatment therapist will not turn the treatment beam on unless they are confident you are in the correct treatment position. Once your positioning is confirmed, your treatment will begin. Your treatment may consist of the machine treating with the beam from a variety of angles to achieve the best distribution of the dose to the area. Some treatments may be done in an arc formation where the treatment beam is delivered over 360 degrees as the machine rotates around you. Once your treatment has been successfully delivered, the radiation therapist will come back into the treatment room and begin lowering the table to move you away from the treatment machine. Please do not move until your team tells you that it is safe to do so. Thank you for watching this radiation therapy preparation and treatment video. At this point, you may feel overwhelmed. Please trust that your healthcare team will guide and support you throughout your treatments. For more information, check out our other videos in the Radiation Therapy Treatment video series.